excellent list. We have a very, very cool and awesome, well-needed initiative here being spearheaded by Sirakin. I, I pronounce her name Sirakin. Is it Sirakin or Sirakane? Sirakin, Sirakin. Anyway, well, it doesn't matter. Sirakin, of course, has had a bit of a rough, she had a rough start of the year. You know, I think most people did on social media, especially some of the techno DJs in Berlin, especially because Berlin seemed to be the only place, I think, in Western Europe that had some clubs open, right? They had the ability to throw some open air parties here and there which obviously allowed them the opportunity to put on some nights and because most places are i assume again i'd assume most places in berlin are kind of adapt or are kind of in a position to put on open air parties right so they were in a position to kind of take advantage of the regulations at that time of the year and then of course some of the neighboring countries spain italy and stuff as well were open so that allowed them to travel a little bit easier some of the people in berlin of course have a bit bigger profile than some of the djs they already have gigs and their connections and so it just allowed them to kind of maneuver and kind of you know get gigs and go and perform at a more at a more kind of consistent basis than maybe some of their other counterparts who might live in other places and again generally as well because the scene's a little bit clicky and whatever it may be people just tend to you know we're just looking for an excuse to maybe throw some sticks and stones and you know she seemed to bear a lot of the brunt of it most of it i think was unfair as i mentioned in a couple other videos i just think it was just an unfair and it was it was unfair of course some of the sticks and it was also just bad timing you know we're just going through a bad go a pandemic people are not getting people are not doing the thing that they love the thing that comes you know as a calling the thing that they've worked many many years to kind of progress and get to the top at and then you're seeing somebody you know this little girl playing behind a deck somewhere you know flying to spain go to italy going to france it's gonna it's gonna do something to you right it's gonna make you get a little bit angry and tweet out some mean things so people are looking for any reason cussing her t-shirt doing this however it just got a bit crazy but in general, I think now that things have sort of died down and sort of settled, what you are seeing that this is generally, I feel as if, especially being a fan of nightlife, especially being a person that participates in the culture, being a promoter, being a DJ myself, there's definitely been um uh there's definitely been a lot of struggle in terms of mental health having to deal with the reality that we're living in now where we've sort of all kind of accepted all ravers have sort of accepted all promoters all djs all event organizers all agencies have sort of basically accepted that we're not going to return to our hallowed turf of you know sweating our asses off somewhere in a dingy basement bar in a dingy warehouse somewhere in an open field festival until there's a vaccine we're just not going to be able to do that we just know in terms of the regulations around it's just kind of hard to kind of get accept that sort of new reality so there are a lot of issues that people are suffering with you know and again um most people you know like like most jobs are living pay to, pay to, to paycheck i think anyone that thinks anything but that is obviously being naive no matter how much you're getting paid you're still going to probably be um your habits are probably still going to align with the money that comes into your account and when that is completely cut off it does really kind of mess with your head because you've basically done nothing for that to happen it's not really your fault you've not done anything it's not like you're not going to a studio it's not like you're not turning up to a gig so it's not like you're not being professional it's something without outside of your control that's effectively rid you know, taking away your ability to make any kind of income and you don't see any kind of way forward so i'm assuming again if you have imagine if you have pre-existing conditions it's definitely going to mess with your head so there's definitely been a lot of i guess more understanding now in the kind of towards the end of the year with people deciding to go and play some of these quote-unquote play graves than it was in the beginning uh, but of course there's still an issue at hand right they saw a lot of people in the industry that are suffering mentally that are suffering um physiologically that's suffering of course financially we've lost a couple of people here in the uk which looks you know for the most part it does look like some of these people already had you know pre-existing conditions but i'm sure a lot of their um their untimely passing wasn't helped by their inability to basically do the thing that they've known that they've only known to do right so it's, it's a part of their identity exactly who they are so if that's to be taken away from them it's a lot to deal with and luckily sarah keen has put together this really cool initiative called mental health awareness i think she's got a little tech uh a little inter page up as well called techno mental health where she kind of provides a platform for people to basically talk about the issues that are quote unquote i guess taboo in the industry and to really be open about the struggles that they're having and this is a video where she sort of outlines a bit of it let me play a bit of it for you and then you can carry on hi everyone i am sarah kin i'm a dj a producer and i'm really happy to share that i've been recently certified as a hypnotherapist Awesome. I've been always fascinated by how complex the human mind is and beside music 
I've been all the time reading books and investigating and trying to understand uh, the subconscious mind. Um, and I know with all what's happening this year, especially with the pandemic. She's got that one cheeky leg out. See that? Very cheeky. <laughs> we've been all struggling mentally and we mostly felt anxious and unsafe and uncertain about the future. And yeah, and I think it's pretty normal to feel this way. Uh, we don't have to pretend that everything is okay. Um, and then I recently had this urge to create this Facebook, this uh, Instagram page, not Facebook page, <laughs> called Techno Mental Health. And um, to basically sh uh, raise awareness and share some different um, topics and ideas and subjects about many ways how to improve our mental health on a daily basis. Please, you should always know that your mental health is as important as your body. And, and if you feel like down or you feel like you have like difficult thoughts or emotions or you feel depressed, please do not be ashamed and be brave to seek professional help always remember that you're really not alone in this yeah i think we are like in 2020 you know and and i feel like it's about time to talk about mental health out loud and we've been quiet for so long and and we have we have to break the stigma and yeah and basically normalize it um yeah that's what i want to say for today thank you guys for watching this video and i really miss you and i hope to see you soon on the dance floor so a pretty cool initiative isn't it like it's all pretty self-explanatory check it out the page i'll get here on the uh on the screen techno mental health all one word supporting mental health awareness and personal growth in the techno community uh get rid of that uh Ba, 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 ba. let's get rid of that little pop-up for annoying that always comes up i don't know why all these little really pop-ups come up but yeah going back to her thing so let's go on the first square here it says how to break free from worry loops um how to break out of your chronic worry loop acknowledgement of your worries and get them out of your head by writing them down in your journal be present learn to pause and take a deep breath um on a daily basis point three stop worrying about things you can't control point four if the worry is not solvable get the work sorry get to work on a plan of action and point five uh, move your body stretch dance or go for a walk and six read a book and take a break from social media so again some really really actionable steps that you can obviously take loads of really cool information um, i'm assuming over time they'll build up a little bit of a community in the comments in terms of talking about things and really being open with certain you know topics whatever they may be and of course with Sirikin's hypnotherapy certification i'm sure that's definitely an avenue that people can definitely explore in that regard as well but it's definitely welcomed man it's definitely something that needs to be um spoken about in open because i'm sure i'm sure there must be something because there should be no coincidence that there there are people who sort of are i don't say predetermined i guess there is definitely something to be said for people who are attracted to nightlife right because like, my, like myself i know i'm a bit of a weirdo i know i'm not the most normal person in the world i know i have my little um interesting quirks and ticks or whatever they may be and just general odd personality traits but there definitely is something about people like you and i who prefer the company of people in the nighttime than in the daytime who prefer to be you know lost in the dance lost in the sound somewhere of some dingy warehouse party somewhere listening to some dj you never heard play 135 bpm techno there's definitely something about that that puts you that makes you predisposed to some of these conditions especially if you're under the influence right that's definitely not going to help things but just imagine all of that and then just imagine the ability not having the ability to go to these places that are essentially a safe haven because a lot of people have said that i've seen a lot of people in the comments talking about how much less forget mentioning that they miss going to see a certain dj player go to a certain club they just miss the community the camaraderie the camaraderie camaraderie or camaraderie the camaraderie yeah that exists within the techno space and a lot of it is stuff that just you just got you just kind of um take for granted right the techno subreddit um people that might um sell your ticket on on instagram people that might sell your ticket on twitter the comments on a certain blog page the comments on someone's instagram profile the waiting in the queue the going to 
pick, you know, buy a beer at Spatty or so whatever it may be. All these things kind of contribute to your general um, way of life and your general pattern that you kind of go through when you're going to these club nights. And sometimes there's less even to do with the actual final place. It's just about the, all the little, um, what do you call them? procedures or rituals that you kind of go through prior so imagine that being completely taken away and there being no option for you to do that in the long term of course now we're in a better position there's a vaccine on the way especially in the uk there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel but that's a long time to go without something that is integral in your life in your kind of week to week um sort of existence so to have the space to be able to speak about these kind of things and to maybe evolve and to maybe think to kind of change the way you have you kind of approach your clubbing is definitely something i think is going to be an interesting thing to see happening in the next iteration or whatever the scene is going to be because i'm hopeful this is again to hope that this time that we've had away from stuff we've had away from the dance floor has definitely changed us for the better i think we've lost a few establishments some some good some bad and we've lost a few people and um, we've lost a few agencies like to labels and whatever there may be during this period of time people have changed their names and whatever it may be i hope it's not all lip service i hope there is definitely going to be some meaningful change and we're definitely going to see people approach how they go out and how they commute and how they kind of navigate the nightlife scene in a different way and if it if it's kind of results in you having to kind of offer up a different solution making your own clubs and your own night up cool if it makes you offering your own agency cool if it's you're offering its own platform in terms of speaking openly about mental health issues in the scene cool but whatever it is i hope we approach things differently going forward i hope we just don't go back to normal part i'm optimistic that it changes of course my pessimistic side tells me that human beings just revert back to type as soon as we kind of are allowed to go back to normal we'll just do exactly what we did prior but i'm hopeful that this time away you know it's just been too long it's been more than 10 months especially heading into a new year there's bound to be some kind of change and hopefully that change is long lasting but again check out um techno mental health all one word it's definitely on there definitely make sure you follow it and interact with that content if it's something that you feel is going to contribute to your life